But this is where people get confused. Cause these well-intentioned kids are like, we're taking down these hateful and racist statues. We should take down all hateful and racist statues. And I understand the sentiment but we're not removing the statues because they're hateful and racist. Because if that was the case, we'd have to remove like every statue in America. I go so far to say that most monuments in the world honor someone who probably had some hateful tendencies. The pyramids were built to honor pharaohs that were slave drivers. Gandhi called African savages. Einstein said the Chinese were filthy. JFK and MLK were cracking cheeks while their wives watched the kids. FDR locked up a bunch of Japanese people. Our founding fathers owned slaves and knew it was wrong. And your grandparents were probably racist. Are you gonna take down their tombstones? No, you're not. But now people are getting crazy. They defaced a statue of a guy who tried to abolish slavery. And a Christopher Columbus statue was beheaded because it offended Native Americans. You know what else is offensive to Native Americans? America. Yeah. I don't think they're that happy when they see you driving on stolen land in your Jeep Cherokee. If we take down all the Columbus statues, we should be consistent and remove the District of Columbia. We should remove Columbus, Ohio too. Matter of fact, we should do that anyway. It's a shithole. We gotta understand why the statues were built in the first place. The Confederate statues are celebrating crimes against America. They're honoring traitors who attempted to split the nation to protect their own ship of slaves, killing a million Americans in the process. The other people I mentioned are in no way perfect. They're incredibly flawed, but their statues were not erected to celebrate their flaws, but rather to honor their contributions to society. Contributions we still admire to this day. That's why we gotta keep that monument of George Washington's peace. It's easy to judge people in the past by our current moral standard, but if the standard is too high, no statue will ever exist. We're all hypocrites across the board. We wanna take down the statues of people for their fucked up behavior, but yet we continue to support Nike and Apple. We all know sweatshops and slavery are wrong, but yet we're still wearing Jordans and maybe even watching this video on an iPhone made with cobalt mined by slaves. We like to condemn the evil system, but simultaneously reap the benefits. Just like the founding fathers, we're no better. Your iPhone should cost $10,000, but it doesn't because of exploitation. People are dying so you can watch porn on the toilet. We judge the people of the past and the people in the future will judge us. Time turns everyone into a bigot. And you know what? That's good. That means society is getting better. Hopefully your grandkids look back on you and think, wow, my pappy allowed migrant workers to toil in the fields for little to no money and use a cell phone with slave cobalt and thought a gay tiger keeper drug lord was worth binge watching? What the fuck was wrong with him? So what do we do? We could consider the reasons the statues were erected in the first place and recognize that the statues don't embody every action these people have ever done, but rather are symbolic of the positive contributions they made. We could stop teaching that historical figures are gods and recognize that these people were incredibly flawed and we could judge them within the morality of their time. We could offer the same empathy to the people of the past as we can only hope the people of the future will offer us. Or we can see ancient relics that have done little to help black people and maybe even cause brutality in the cities they govern and cover them with a kente cloth. Racism solved. Thanks guys, peace.